am gonna do some questions since I haven't start my page, my channel with questions. You guys could get to know me more better and the things I like, get to, you know, get a little more info about me. So I'm gonna start off with some basic questions and like my age, height and all that, you know. So you already know, my name is Niani. I'm 19 years old, I turn 19 years old this year. My birthday is January 30th. And I'm from Toronto, born and raised in Toronto. And my parents are from, well, my mom's from St. Vincent in the Grandines. And my dad, he's American, half Indian, height. Doctors say I'm a 5'3", so I'm five foot. Let's put it to that. I do have brothers and sisters Ooh, on my dad's side. It's, I don't even know how much I have on my dad's side, but my mom's side, I have one brother, one little brother. He's taller than me, obviously. Everybody in my whole family is taller than me. No surprise, man. Favorite number? I have a lot of favorite numbers, to be honest. Two, especially eight. Eight always comes a lot in my, like, all the time. If I go somewhere, I see eight. Just eight, 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 eight. I'm like, what? I was like, yo, eight's my lucky number. Sorry, I like to flip my hair a lot. Color? It's baby blue and baby green. Um, hobbies? I like to go out. I like to go like swimming, dancing. You know, whatever I'm up for. Like to be honest, whenever somebody hit me up, I'm so down to do it. Some people call me Mimi, Morosa, Manam. <laughs> oh, Manam. Anyways, yeah, Mimi, Morosa. My mom, my um, my family, they call me Nanny. I, I forgot how the story goes. I don't know who gave me the nickname, Nanny, and it's cute, but it sounds like you know, Granny, Nanny. But yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm sick, but this question, y'all, it just makes me laugh. What age I must get taken for is twelve. 16 10 one time even at work I got today at work uh, one of my co-workers thought I was 16 I was like wow but it's a compliment in a way you know because when I get 30 or older I'm still gonna look like 20 so where would I like to live I like I would like to live in like in the States I was thinking LA but I saw the prices were right down there and it was just like, yeah, I would like live probably Atlanta, probably, I don't know, Florida, no, Texas probably, one of them, but for sure the States. Then when I get older, my mom's country, definitely my mom's country. My best childhood memory was when I turned two and I had a birthday party in my old apartment. My family, my friends, neighbors came over that night. It was just so good. It was good vibes. That there were some people drunk, turning up in town. And I was turning up, you know? I was just not turning up drinking, but like dancing, you know? I've been dancing from time. So yeah, that was one of my best memories. It was fun. It was quite fun. I'm surprised I still remember that. And I remember me all me and the kids all the kids would run up and down in the hallways right so there was like this angry guy in down in the hallway right whenever we passed by his like his doorway oh this man would scare me but, but i i would laugh all the time so yeah me and the kids would run up and down in the hallway and team and then we passed his door right the man opened his door with the green <laughs> all the kids just start running down the hallway going in my doorway they're like no i'm not about this and then after next thing you know the old man's knocking at my door i'm like yo it was so scary that day mm -mm. if i won a lottery ticket what would i do i would it depends to be honest because you could win like five dollar lottery ticket but it depends if it was big money 
I would for sure buy a house down in my mom's country. And then, what's it called again? Like build a bu business down there, you know? Have it like in a hotel kind of thing. Cause where they live, they're like near the sea, right? It's like two minutes away from the beach. Like it's walking distance. So I would definitely for sure like renovate the house and everything. And just start from scratch and just start building a business and thing where they are it'll be good save most of the money buy a car <laughs> uh, save most of it what was my most embarrassing moment i think it was i think it was this year or last year it was last year while i was in high school i was wearing a wig right you already know where this story is going so I was wearing a wig, right? It was not my most embarrassing, but it was embarrassing and funny at the same time. It's leadership camp that I go to, that I went to. So we had to do dances, cheers, and all that in front of other schools. We were like competing with the one in each other, right? So we're practicing in our school, and this was after school, by the way. And our team were just practicing, and then it was break at that time. And I had a wig at that time, right? Me and my best friend, one of my best friends, we were doing flips and things. And I think we were, no, my best friend played the song, right? That we were dancing to in our dance class. And Court, my, my best friend, Courtney, he kept replaying the song over and over again, right? And we were showing it to her. The first try, it was good and everything. But I don't even know why we did it the second time. We did it the second time, we did a flip, and my hair wanted to do a flip too. It was just so funny. My hair just flew off my head and landed on the floor, right? It was so, oh my god, it was funny. I couldn't even laugh, like I couldn't even breathe that day. It was so funny, everybody was dying. My teacher thought it was my actual hair. She killed me that day, it was so funny. What's one thing I can't live without? I don't know. I cannot live without my mom. Boom. My phone, I, yo, the amount of times I, I didn't have a phone, I, I really don't care. Like, I just bought this phone and I hardly, like, I hardly go on it, to be honest. So I couldn't live without a phone. So yeah, but my mom, I cannot live without. Have I ever sent the wrong message to a wrong person yes yes and yes oh my god it was all the time to be honest i'm like oops my bad it was for a best friend they're like oh come they don't and sometimes people don't even respond they just cut but yeah i do biggest turnoffs are when they jump too soon like say for instance, you just start talking to the person, right? And all of a sudden, what's your phone number? Instagram is fine. It's like a profile, your portfolio in a way. But when I hardly know you, and you just automatically just want it, my digits? No. That's just too fast. Being annoying? Holy sh <laughs> Don't get me started. Yeah, being dishonest? Being lying for no reason flopping oh flopping leaving the person on red all the time it's just Lord. turn ons oh my god just having the effort showing the effort being kind you know just being real you know your personality has to be up you know because looks can be deceiving okay don't get me one of my insecurities is my laugh. I hate my laugh. I laugh like a hyena. Like I don't I don't like it, but some people say it's contagious. <coughs> <coughs> I hate my laugh. And another thing is my hair. I don't know, I'm so insecure with my hair. I'm like that from time. Because yeah, like my mom's a hairdresser, right? So she always blessed me and everything. My last text message was from my mom. Like, mom, can you get me a smoothie? Boom. She 
blessed me. Last thing I ate was this Indian food. It was quite spicy. But it was not all that, to be honest. I really mm, didn't really. Like, it was blessed. It was spicy. But I could do better, to be honest. What did I did for my 19th birthday? But I didn't do anything for my 19th birthday. I didn't have time to do anything for my birthday. I might be doing something for next year's birthday. I have no idea. Because 20 is not, it is a big deal, but at the same time it's not. 21 is kind of a big deal. But 20, I don't know. Maybe why it took me so long to like, post so much like post videos is because I've been struggling to find a good software to like upload on YouTube to edit my videos and stuff right so I'm just like oh my god where to go where to go my last video with the ring proposal it was so terrible like it was nice the videos and everything but like the overall you could see like these flashes and stuff it was just so terrible the laptop I have does not have iMovie so I've been struggling to find a proper editing software I would have like I had videos that I wanted to post but they were telling me oh how I had to pay this and this and that and that I'm just like yo me pay that and this and that and that when it's not working proper nah cut one time finally you have a phone that can do iMovie and that could make music so I don't need to do, get copyright all the time you know so I'm, so it's blessed it's Gucci and I'm happy I could finally post videos thank god and that's it for today hope you guys like this video make sure you like and subscribe on my youtube channel and stay tuned there's a lot more coming in this channel.